Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Did she say yay us? Yeah. Okay. As all the great legal minds, Sean, of our right. time have. I know I'm sure Abraham you studied Lincoln. that in college. Yeah, Thurgood Marshall yeah. used to Abraham frequently Lincoln often say said that. yay us. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Ever right after four score and uh-huh. seven? Years yeah. ago, yay us. Yes. Yeah. When he was, right, speaking of the union, yay us. Yeah. Right. We won the war. Yay us. Okay. Or, alternatively, Alina Haba, many of us thought he seemed like a slimy lying cokehead. Allegedly. Oh. Really? I said allegedly. I said allegedly. And I said it immediately, as you I mean, Don Jr., sure, but Alina Haba? No, I'm talking about Don Jr. Oh, Don Jr., okay. Yes, he said talking always, about Alina Haba. Wait, he said Don was <laughs> concise and blah, blah, blah. And I just was offering an alternative view. Maybe, maybe he snorted coke off her breasts. Perhaps. Allegedly. allegedly. We collided getting to that. No, we yeah. had to. Jacoby and Myers then are on our team, Sean, yeah. require <laughs> that we both say Can it Can I together. be Jacoby? Yeah, because the fact that John, Don Jr. is a slimy line coke is... is Oh, a legend. legend. See, we have to say it at the same time. Uh-huh. Okay. It's a do- well, otherwise, we're in double jeopardy legally. Uh, I don't know. I just made that no, up. No, did, okay. did we just make a positive with two negatives? I don't know. Uh, Maybe. We, we, did we cancel out the all I allegedly? Have no idea. Is that <laughs> legally possible? <laughs> By the way, did you see his uh, Won't Someone Think of the Children uh, tweet? Or whatever. Troth. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Judging girl, leave my children alone. It's like Sally Field in some Lifetime movie. I'm like, you don't give a flying about your kids. You no. just don't want them to testify against you because they know everything. Not without my children. <laughs> not without my children. Yes, some overdramatic Sally Field Lifetime movie. Yes. Not without my children in my burning bed, you bastard. Or something. I don't know. Anyway. Those are uh, all movies from the 80s. By the way, did we mention that they've already been found guilty of fraud? This is just about how much <laughs> they're going to have right. to pay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, is today is today Eric Day? Uh, I'm Eric. It's Don Jr. Does he have to actually... Don- wait, when they swear you in, does he have to actually say, I'm Eric? Doesn't he have I, to say, I'm Eric? I don't, I don't know. But Don Jr. continues his testimony today. Yes. I don't know right. if Eric yeah. is after that. Dep- probably depends on how long yeah. Don, Ju- Don Jr. There was Jr. some headline yesterday, uh, Trump stressed out as idiot sons take the stand. Yeah. You read they that are- to me as I was still here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, they are kind of the idiots that like, because they already say everything, right? Out loud. They're like, we don't really need to. We get all our money out of Russia. Like, they just, <laughs> right? They just, yeah. they say it, the stuff. Apparently, right. he was like almost charming yesterday on the stand. Really? Like, even. Is that what you call charming? Even funny. Mm. Okay. Like. He yeah. got the what, are, what are you, Alina Haba now? No, no, but from what I understand, like, legal minds who were in... Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. They were like, he was, like, yeah, strangely I th- I charming. He, oh, I thought he seemed like a slimy lion cokehead, well, uh, allegedly. Well, we haven't seen any any footage of it, so we don't I know. did. I saw clips. I thought they, I was, there was no cameras? Yeah, there was clips of, from somewhere. Yeah, that know. was a deposition from, like, a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, we he we, seemed kind of like a slimy lion cokehead. Yes, cokehead. in that allegedly. he did. But yesterday, uh, he... From all no. from all accounts, oh. he was kind of charming. Well, is it, well, well, then that's the way the justice system should work, correct, Sean? I think we Yay, should just Don let. Jr. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. Right, she's let him let him go. You seem charming. <laughs> well, that's it then. Bye bye. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers said, "Yeah, yes," because we they they won the Civil War. <laughs> right, and that's immediately what he said. Is right. yay, yay us. us. Right. Okay. Did Lincoln die before the and end he of the Civil War? Those traitors. I don't, why are we, was he killed in the middle of the Civil War? We're asking Sean because we're like yeah, so old. Yeah. Or like, I don't <laughs> know. The history was ago. a lot longer ago for us. You were born closer to the Civil War. That was 1985 when I was in. Yes, I was born you, closer to the Civil War than I am to now. Oh, that was some massive shade. He's very quiet, so you didn't yeah. get it. <laughs> but that was hilarious. It was. Snap back. You were born a lot closer to the Civil War, War than I was. I was. <laughs> Tell us about the Peloponnesian War, Grandpa. <laughs> Back in my day. Matlock's not real. Neither are my teeth. Uh, the Lincoln Project tweets, We are at an inflection point in history. Trump and the MAGA GOP want to return the favor to Putin for his election interference. Thank you, someone, for saying it succinctly. Mm-hmm. That's why we have a half a party full of traitors. Okay. POTUS and the Democrats want to uphold freedom and democracy. Will we emulate Chamberlain or will we stand strong against a mon- monstrous dictator? Thank you. Oh, God. We will talk to Dr. Redliner about all the great work he's doing in uh, Ukraine.
Uh, okay, so uh, lots lots going on. We have... Yeah. Uh, hmm? yeah. Oh, Ken Buck, by the way. Uh, is that who you are? What you like to do? In his case, both. He's bucking the entire party and leaving. Well... Yeah, because I... I the way the party's people, going, he's not going to get reelected. He's going to be by primary. By the way, can I just say at first, I was like, what? why are any Democrats voting against kicking... What's his name? George Santos out. And then okay. you listen to Jamie Raskin yes. and you go... It makes sense. Oh, principles yes nobody on the right ever really seems to have any of those (laughs) jamie raskin's like i'm a constitutional guy right this this is hasn't been charged he hasn't been convicted he hasn't been convicted yet yeah so he's saying but but i also i think he knows how petty and vindictive the gop are and he's like there's several democrats i know they like to you know expel without a due process or whatever so i i got to give it up for him at first i was like what the because this is all Republican. They, they would have done it. All, it's all they care about is yeah. raw power. Right. And so no. I'm like, why are we helping them? Yeah. But then I'm like, okay. The way he put it, I Jamie totally Rask, get it. Yeah. If you saw him, Chrissy, you know, on stage with us at DC Sexy I Liberal, did see him on stage. He has just, he exudes this just, I, I, I don't even know what to call it. Just integrity, integrity. and principle. That's and what stuff it is. That we do. You're kind of like. <gasps> I'm not used Everybody, to that. Yeah, you are CA dog. You're yeah. like, I don't, what is that? I don't recognize that in Congress. Mm-hmm. No, he's principled. And yeah. yeah, he's on our side. Yeah, I, uh, you know what? And I have to, uh, I have to say, there are some, I guess, a smattering of Republicans, at least the ones that knew, uh, you know, uh, George Santos doesn't belong in Congress. But again, they then they have to leave if they. Well, let's just twelve. Ken Buck talking about now, you, who you, you have like to, to do. I think we've already covered that. In his case, it is both. Okay. Period. Well, I have decided, uh, Andrea, I'm not going to seek re-election. And, you too. And, yeah, I am uh, joining. It is time for me to do some other things. I I'm, uh, always have been disappointed that the Republican Party continues to stolen and, and, and rely on the uh, January 6th narrative and, and the political prisoners from January 6th and other things. Yeah, I, well, I don't want to, it, it's just people saying there is no room for anybody in the Republican Party no that for, will not parrot the big lie. Right. There are no room for moderates in yeah, that party. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking, I've, just, you know, i Was that a stall tactic? Yes. I recognize that as a stall tactic. Do you need more stall tactic? I have another Ken Buck uh, soundbite I can play. Sure, go ahead. Okay, here we go. It's, if we're going to solve difficult problems, we've got to deal with some very unpleasant truths uh, or lies and, and make sure that we, uh, we project to the public uh, what the truth is. Oh, I've got it. Okay, thank you, Ken Buck, for stretching for me. <laughs> no, but I just there's a little glimmer of hope that, and we also got some sound of Republicans ripping Tuberville a yeah. new, you know, hole. I mean, first of all, they know how bad it makes them look. So, you know, but at least at some point, you've got to, at long last, there's got to be some sense of decency, right? I mean, I, sure. what's going on this week when I agree with Lindsey Graham on anything? Do we, should we do 18? This oh, is him okay. on the House floor against uh, Tuberville. Mm-hmm. And Senator Graham. And here he is. And Lindsey Graham. And Here's what's going to happen. You just denied this lady a promotion. You did that. All of us are ready to promote her because she deserves to be promoted. She had nothing to do with this policy. Let me say it again. Everybody in this body could find an issue with any administration they don't agree with. And what we're going to do is open up Pandora's box. Today is abortion policy. If we take back the White House, we'll go back to the Mexico City policy, limiting dollars to be given to overseas entities that are engaged in the abortion business. Some pro-choice people don't like that. What would happen if they put a hold on all the officers because they don't agree with the Republican administration? That's a really good point. That being said, he's still, uh, well, you know, he's, as a confirmed bachelor, we already know he wants to control women's bodies. I mean, (laughs) that just goes without saying, but... He has a point. Yes, but I mean, this is, uh, okay. It, thank God someone's finally saying enough to Senator Football McDump because it is hurting us. Still didn't it's work last night. I know. He, he no, I know. He didn't remove any holds. No, I know. He, I mean, he's just, I. Uh, anyway, but at least the Republicans ripping him a new one. You know, you go, okay. I, okay. And, it, it was good and, theater, but it didn't accomplish anything. This other, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, oh, 
quickly, just wanted to say what Jamie Raskin said. I'm a Constitution guy. The House has expelled five people in our history, three for joining the Confederacy as traitors to the Union, uh, and two were after they were convicted of criminal offenses. Mm -hmm. I can think of four or five Democratic members. Republicans would like to expel without a conviction or adverse ethics findings. We can't abandon due process and the rule of law in the House of Representatives. Um, Wow. There it is, my first drink of the day, Zbiotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic. Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics. And Zbiotics, check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine, I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com/slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now.